Good afternoon, everybody. This is uh, my second video of the day, so I apologize if I'm barraging you with lots of content, but at close to 51 years of age, if I don't share this stuff with you when I, when it comes to mind, I tend to forget about it. So, um, you know, we just, uh, Audra and I, so if you don't know Audra, Audra Simovich, who's off council to my office, is my guardianship lawyer, and she's really, really fabulous. So she's the one holding the camera while I'm attempting to drive. Uh, the good news is we're stuck in traffic, so I'm not having to do too many things at once. But this is, uh, we, ju we just had lunch with, uh, with, uh, with a, a colleague of ours, a mutual friend, and, you know, he had explained to us that, um, that he had uh, sat and talked to somebody who ultimately lost their child, and, um, and he said to us, you know, how do you, how do you address the conversation with, with a set of parents when one parent wants to be the enabler and, you know, the other parent wants to practice tough love. And when I, you know, I think when he talks about tough love, I think what he's talking about is should they, you know, kick their child out of the house sort of thing? Um, should they cut them off? And, you know, my response was this, that, that either enabling, and I guess by enabling, you know, the, that sort of means, well, should I, you know, give the kid money when he wants the money? Should I let him go out when he wants to go out? You know, and I use the word he generically because obviously it's, it could be, you know, boys and girls, right? Um, and they, the, the, the choice is not between enabling and tough love. Those aren't the choices, okay? As, as I have said routinely, and I tell parents every day, the diseases of addiction and mental health only get worse with time. They do not get better. That's just a fact. Um, so when you know that you're dealing with a disease that only gets worse with time, then the choices are pretty simple that individual is either going to the morgue, they're either going to prison, or they're going to treatment. Those are the choices. It's not a choice of, well, shall I enable or practice tough love? It's a choice of where that person's gonna end up, okay? So if you don't want your child going to the morgue, if you don't want your child going to prison, then you gotta make the decision to get them into treatment. That's the decision that has to be made, treatment or no treatment. And and I think part of the problem here is that I have maybe in the past sugar-coated things because I was uncomfortable telling families that if they don't get their kid into treatment, they're either going to end up dead or in prison. But maybe I'm just done with sugar-coating things and I am here to tell you if you do not get your kids into treatment, they're either going to end up dead or they're going to go to prison. you got to get these kids into treatment, okay? And I realize, um, you know, sort of 800 pound gorilla in the room is, you know, the treatment's not available to everybody. And I certainly appreciate that and we will be the first one to agree with that statement, but that's a different video for a different time. The issue is, are we gonna send these people to treatment or not? And expecting a child who's been dealing with addiction for a long time, who's had a mental health issue for a long time, and then expecting that that person is somehow magically gonna make the decision to stop using, to put themselves into treatment is just, frankly, not reality, okay? As a parent, as a spouse, as a friend, you have to make that rational decision for them because they are not capable of making it for themselves. If they could, they would have done it already. So stop worrying about whether you should enable or practice stuff love and decide that you're going to get that person into treatment because if you don't get them into treatment, they're either gonna end up dead or they're going to go to prison. And that's the choice that you have to make. So I hope that, um, I hope that you've, I hope I vented enough and I apologize if I seem somewhat excited, but listen, we're in the business of trying to save lives and to try and make a difference. And so um, I hope that, you know, this is registered with you. You understand the dynamics of what we're dealing with. And, you know, and every day I get up to try and help more people to save more kids, to save more lives, to make a difference. And so if you know somebody who is dealing with this issue, if they're a parent, a spouse, a brother, a sister, either say something to them or, sh or share this video with them. So I appreciate you, um, you listening to me and all the really great comments and encouragement and, um, have a great uh, rest of the day, and if you're seeing this on a Friday, have a great rest of the weekend. Thank you.